It was really good to play somebody else, and now we'll get a tape, uh, both as coaches and players, to get to see you know, what we did well and where we are early in the season. We're 23, this was our 24th practice, so um, being 24 practices in, a little bit over three weeks of, I guess, practice work, five, six weeks of uh, actual days of work. But um, with the days off and everything, to be 23, 24 practices in, it's just getting the barometer of where we're at. And, you know, so I thought that was good. Uh, I thought the effort uh, out of both teams was really good. And obviously we're defending an undersized team and, and that presents some problems for our bigs. Um, and yet we won the free throw war. Um, we won the rebounding war. We did a really good job of assisting and moving the ball. Uh, we want to get more threes up. You know, I think we still want to get more than 24 threes up. That's something that I think is going to be a strength for our team. Um, but 20 turnovers, we were a little sloppy. If there was a negative offensively, um, it was our turnovers. I thought we got a little careless because that's something that through our practices we've been really good at. We've been very, very efficient with our assist turnover ratio. And uh, I just thought we were a little bit careless uh, with the basketball, especially when we got uh, a big lead there in the first half. I thought the last five, six minutes of the first half and then to start the second half was probably when we were most careless. And, you know, and then defensively, you know, there's going to be some issues that we got to look at on tape. Uh, but overall, I, I liked there were a lot of good things that happened um, in that game too, holding the team to 32 percent. And you know, I, we, there were some real positives defensively as well. But uh, more than anything is getting a game in Pauley. Uh, three freshmen that haven't been out there before, and uh, to be able to get that under their belt and now have some tape against somebody else, I think that's the biggest part of tonight. Says Lonzo and TJ, the, the freshmen's play. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Lonzo and then TJ Lee, the way they play. Wednesday. Yeah, I thought they did some good things. You know, there were there were some moments that they, you know, had some freshman moments. <laughs> but that's that's what's going to happen. They're freshmen, so. But I thought they were pretty efficient. I, you know, I thought they took good shots. They didn't force shots. Um, you know, we had we had as many charges in one game and dunks in one game and than we had through two and a half months last year. So, you know, and they had a lot to do with dunks, and I think uh, Aaron had a charge, Gigi had a charge, you know, so, uh, but I thought the freshmen did some good things. Uh, and, and, you know, both of them lead us in rebounding, 12 and 10. Um, so for their first games, and you know, in Pauley and doing that things, I thought they were really good. Uh, Coach, you had four guards and one big in at one point. Was that more a product of who you were playing, or is that something that you? No, it's with? something that we've started messing with here in the last two weeks. And I did. I thought the first time in the first half it wasn't very good. Uh, it's been good in practice, but we have not practiced it a lot. Um, but it's something I think you could see us go to. Um, you know, I'd like to be able, at times. I'd like to be able to finish games that way. Um, we obviously have four very, very talented guards that um, know how to take care of the ball, know how to put the ball in the basket, uh, and can make free throws. So, uh, and all four of them have a really high basketball IQ. So, that could be a lineup, you know, whether that's TJ, whether that's Tom, whether that's Gigi, um, but that could be a lineup with one of those bigs that we look at through the course of a game to change tempo. Uh, we need to change tempo or in closing out games. Um, you can see speed as well. Coach, what, uh, what was your assessment of the Masters after uh, tonight? Well, it, one, I appreciate you know just the opportunity for us to be able to play. It's a tremendous university. I was able to uh, uh, meet Mr. McCarter before the game uh, and some people who are affiliated with that institution and have always been a big fan of his. and. Um, he was gracious enough to give me one of his latest books, and I'm jumping on a red eye late tonight to do some recruiting on the day off tomorrow, so with Coach Schilling, so I'll get a head start on that book uh, right away. But uh, just a first-class organization, and that's what we appreciate being able to play teams like this that are going to play extremely hard, and, um, and it helps us because I think we'll play some teams here in the non-conference that are undersized and can give us problems um, you know, Monmouth did that last year to us, playing four guards and at times playing five guards. So it gives us, a, you know, something to look at on tape where we know we're playing against a team that's going to fight you and play really hard. And 
So hopefully they had a good experience. You know, I, I think that completes their exhibition season. This was their third game. I think they get to open up their season on Friday, and we obviously wish them the, the best of luck, and hopefully they have a great year. Coach, TJ looked very comfortable in transition. How big will that be for him? This well, it's huge because we want to play him like Kavan, and he's very similar to Kavan in that area. Um, I think he, he's, he's not – where he may be a little bit ahead of Kavon is the ability to shoot the ball from three. Kavon probably didn't have that in his freshman year. That's something he's continued to develop now that he's in the league. Um, but very similar in that how they bring the ball up. Um, I've probably got to break down some tape of Kavon to show TJ. The one thing TJ's got to learn, he can't leave his feet. Um, at 6'10", 6'11", he's going to run over people and we're going to get him in foul trouble that way. And so as long as he makes plays on the ground, we like it because now I got those three guards, uh, potentially four guards, but when we're in a three guard lineup, they're running the floor with him. And you saw tonight, if you don't leave those guards, it, he can take you and finish at the rim. And that's what Kavon could do. And Kavon was a very good passer. And we're seeing that out of TJ as well. He's very good and very comfortable about taking the ball off the rim and going with it. And, you know, I thought today he did that, you know, to play 20 minutes, get 19 and 12 and two assists. I mean, he did some really good things. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you.